Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. I believe we've all been in the situation where you wake up one day and you think, life is not exactly the way I think it should be. Inside, you feel there's more that you should be potentially in another direction, maybe a different relationship, but you're not really sure why you're in this situation, but you truly believe there's something better out there. Not that we always have to have more, but when it comes from inside, yeah, sure, it'd be great to have that you know, awesome sports car. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the feeling inside where it's calling you. It, you it's, you it's your internal phone is ringing. And yeah. and you're not picking it up, but you don't know why. We're gonna we're gonna tell you why today, and dig deeper into what may be holding you back, and it may surprise you as well. This gentleman walks the journey with you, and he's done it for a lot of people. Uh, it all started with himself in trying to figure out what's going on, as many of us really do. He's an amazing spiritual coach, and he is Judd Fink, and he's back with us. Welcome back. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, Steve. How are you? I'm well. Thanks, I'm well. Uh, I'm gratified that we're going to talk about this today because it is it is truly everything. <laughs> really, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm trying really to find is. the best words to describe here, but why it, it, it is the reason why we do what we do, whether we know why we do it or not. Uh, yeah. it comes back to one thing, the subconscious, right? Absolutely. Everything does. Everything does throughout your life. And it's your subconscious is developed most in childhood. You know, that's where all of your beliefs come from about yourself, positive, negative, your influences, you know, beliefs that were placed on you by yourself based on your circumstances or, or belief systems or whatever that was placed on you by others, expectations that were placed mm. on you by others as well and who they want you to be. And in that process, they don't, they don't know that they're being selfish in that way. They're just living their lives the way that they know how to live their lives based on their subconscious beliefs and, and, and what they've experienced as well. So it's, it's, it's accepting people for who they are in that process as well. Um, but the way that we're programmed leads us into the rest of our lives. And I can talk about my own experience and, where I was abused a lot uh, in different ways, uh, physically, mentally isolated in my room as well, taking the love away. So I told myself subconsciously that I don't deserve to be loved. I, I'm not worth it. You know? And that mm. led me through life in a way to, to find love in other places and not realizing that entire time until I came to the point of the realization that it's actually inside of myself everything is inside of itself and everything is inside of everyone else. You know, we are the universe. It's what we attract based on our subconscious beliefs. We can have anything that we want. We just have to co-create with it. And through my life, it was, you know, <clears throat> addictive behaviors is what were developed out of that. And first it focused on sports and I hyper-focused on that because I wanted acceptance and love and, I achieved good things in that, but it, it wasn't fulfilling because it actually wasn't for me. You know, it was, I wasn't doing it for myself and it was just an outlet because of my fast paced mind, my racing mind. Cause I was afraid all the time, uh, just to, just to be existing. I didn't know what was around the corner, you know, d just be because of my beliefs, because of the abuse that I uh, endured. And, and then it developed these patterns, right. Where, and I, I didn't recognize what I was doing at the time of hurting myself and hurting other people. And these patterns were, you know, not wanting to feel and numbing with through drugs and alcohol and, and how that affects other people as well and affecting myself and hurting myself the entire time, not being loved, you know, and what I was attracting from that were, were the people that came around me that also, didn't love themselves and didn't know how to give love. Also drugs, also alcohol, also abusing themselves, you know, and based on that vibrational level, because that's what it is. You're, you're, you're not even, nobody is even aware that that's what they're doing, you know, putting that out there into the universe, into the ether, because that's what comes back to you. 
based on your beliefs. And <clears throat> it was through the process of I had to I had to literally go through everything, lose everything that I knew as my life to be able to recognize these patterns. And I'm going to be honest, like I still, you know, have worked through some of those patterns every now and then, you know, I mean, it's just it's just is what it is. But it's but it's being conscious now and recognizing it and saying, oh, I remember this. I, I don't have to do this. It's it's a it's a different point of view now. It's it's there to recognize and to learn from, you know, and we're so we get so wrapped up in trying to control things that we can't control. And that's where those patterns come from. You know, we're 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 seeking all this stuff outside of ourselves, an uncontrollable situation in our relationship or an uncontrollable situation in a job when the easiest thing to do is just let go and trust that it's going to work out as long as you're doing your part and, and and doing the things that you need to do to love yourself and, and develop. And I had to go through, you know, reinventing myself and taking care of myself. And the way that I did that was working out, uh, yoga, meditating and, and doing all these things. And then that, that propelled me forward into taking action, inspired action in the moment because you have to take it in the moment when those things come about, you know, and to to create, to create whatever that is for you, whatever is exciting to you, whatever you love to do, you know, because that's that is loving yourself through that process, you know, and I, I have to the, believe, too, when when these things come yeah. up, like you said, even though you've done the work and every once in a while something will come up and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa that you know how to react to it better and how to change it, stop it, whatever it might be, where let's say people that haven't done the work on themselves might jump down that rabbit hole again. You know, if they say, I'm not going to do it, you know, my addiction issues, I'm not going to have it again. Never, oh, and then all of a sudden something triggers and phew, you're right back Go into right back to it. it. But if you've, if you've worked with somebody like yourself and you've worked on yourself with that guidance, when those things come up, you may stand at the edge of the rabbit hole and say, "Whoa, wait a minute! I'm not, I'm, I'm I'm not going down it's close, but I'm not going down there now because I know yeah. now I know why I'm doing it, and I figured it out. I struggle with understanding why more people don't know about the subconscious and the power of it and what it's doing for us or to us, depending on how you look at it." It, they don't teach it in school. It, it, it to me, it's so important, and it's just kind of yeah. like thrown to the wayside. But it's nothing new. This has been known for 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 many, 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 many decades. Why do you think that is? Why why are we not uh, you know plugged into it more? You know, I don't really have a great answer for that question, but I I do believe it's that you know people are just unaware overall. Because we're in this system of being taught to go to to go to school and learn these things that like, you know, to have a general knowledge of everything. And I think it's to, you know, be a be a worker. We're being told to go to school to be a worker and, you know, and not develop our ourselves, our subconscious beliefs in that from that. You know, it's just, you know, like straight lines, basically. And really, school is a good thing. I'm not saying that it's not. But. How much of school after, you know, when you go, go into real life, after you graduate, do you actually use, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. How much, how much of it do you actually use? You, you don't use much of it at all, but you know, these things and that's great. You have a general knowledge, but the, the real knowledge does come from learning about your subconscious and learning about yourself because it's through the self that the most is learned that the most you can possibly learn ever is from yourself and your own experience, yeah. you know, and, and then it's a great thing to, to tell your story so that other people can gain knowledge from your story because it can resonate with them and help them. You know, everybody went to school. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? But everybody, <laughs> everybody doesn't have your experience. Everyone's individual experience is completely different and unique, you know, but there are some similarities that can help people. You know, I've been through this. I've been through that. And, you know, whatever has happened to you, there's somebody else out there that 
that should very much hear your story yeah. because it's it's it can be profound for them and and propel them forward in in the ways that they need to be propelled you know because and they don't they might not even know that they need to do it until they hear your story you know yeah and because it can be so similar you know, hearing I'm yours i'm getting emotional sorry you know like yeah, i yeah. i i'm feeling yours like it's it you're backing up what i believe and in you know the the work i've done on myself it just yeah. backs it up like i get it like wow okay yeah um the 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 big question mark for all of us is the believing that anything is possible. Oh my gosh, it is. It very much is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like it's like yeah. we this creates it and it will be. Why doesn't it materialize? Maybe there are things holding you back. Maybe you're you're not letting go of this so that you can grab that. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it's I'm being also patience, man, patience, mm. you know, not everything happens in, in the moment. It's doing the work and staying consistent for yourself and and programming through that, you know, reprogramming your subconscious beliefs and having that patience it, and, and being free to to live in the moment, you know, is is a trained behavior as well. You know, you're worried about the future if you're being impatient. Right. And. And it's the past that shapes our subconscious beliefs. So being in the moment is so important and letting go of that control in that process. Oh my gosh, it can be so difficult, right? Because we want what we want and we want to be better. We want, we want what we want because of fear, right? We, we, <laughs> yeah. that's what it comes back to, right? It's, it's just overall being fearful and it's, and it's totally understandable. The human condition is, is very, it's a, it's a simple thing, but complex at the same time, you know, and it's just so amazing how everything works and how, and how you move forward when you live in the moment and, and, and you don't project things into the future, you know, and, and you're just okay with how things work out, however they do, you know, it's, it's, it's all so divine timing. Seriously, it's so true. <laughs> it's yeah. like, and if there's anything that I tell people based on my experience that are going through things, people are going through things. Um, it's just what you said. It's live in the moment. And I don't know if I ever shared this with you, but in my journey, I'll be transparent. Found out I was getting divorced. My kids had no idea. If you know, that was three years ago. It was a bomb that was dropped. Oh yeah. Um, they messed up my kids you know, in many ways. And, and it was, you know, a challenge, sure. but weeks later I met somebody and it was almost like the universe put her in front of me. And then she was just passing through. Yeah. And she said to me, why don't you ever live in the moment? And I'm like, yeah, what are you talking about? She goes, why do you ever live in the moment? And it took me a couple of weeks to figure it out. Then I was like, Oh, okay. And slowly it takes time for you to harness that in the moment thing. But mm -hmm. once you've gotten it, it's it it's beautiful because oh my gosh, yeah. at first you feel guilty. Well, I'm not thinking about the future and I'm not thinking about the past. But but I need to think about the future. Um, you know, my car lease is going to be up in 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 five months and I, I gotta come up with a plan. The hell with that. <laughs> The hell with that is right. Yeah, yeah it'll work it, out. It'll, it'll work yeah. out. And that's, thank you for saying that. That's the other part of it. When you're live, you, you have to live in the moment. You need to live in the moment, but then you need to have that faith. And I don't just mean in religion, but faith in yourself, faith in uh, the universe that it doesn't want to hurt you. It wants the best. My belief is if you do the right thing, it wants the best for you. And the right mm -hmm. thing is universal for others. You know, some can say, yeah. well, I did the right thing. Yeah, for yourself. <laughs> that doesn't mean yeah. it was for the greater good. If you think of it that way, it'll all work out. It'll all come together. If you Absolutely. live in the moment and have that faith. Easy to do? No. <laughs> no. 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 It's hard to trust that, isn't it? But, very much. but really, like what you want, wants you. It very much does. Interesting way know? to look at it. Mm. And it's those beliefs, you know, it goes back to it, everything. I mean, everything goes back to 
what you believe about yourself and what you're worth. You know, it really yeah. does. Yeah. And it's, I know it's hard to let go. I know it's re really hard to let go of that control of how things are going to play out, how things are going to happen. But when you do let go and just sit back, you know, and you're able to take that deep breath and release it or however you do it, there's different ways to do that. You know, um, it, it it's just very freeing and you'll feel it. You will feel it in your body and it's that energy, you know, and then also in that process, being being aware that, oh, I just need to take a, a step back, you know, take a deep breath, you know, and recenter myself, however you do that, you know, but. <clears throat> well, many people don't know how to do it either. You know, that there's there's they're that. not presented with it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. But you people have to they'll some I'm not going to say everybody, but most people will get to a point where they do seek outside you know they do seek help they do go and do that because the, the universe presents them with that opportunity to do so not everybody is always presented with that opportunity because of circumstances that are going on in their lives you yeah. know and and wherever they're at i mean i wish everybody could get help and you know i, I really do i want everybody to be the best versions of themselves and go and live the lives that they want to live, that they truly want to live. And it's too bad that that's not the case. But maybe in this lifetime, that's not their purpose. It's the purpose is to is to go through their stuff and learn. You know, everything is an opportunity to learn from. You know? True, true. And and yeah. that you know brings me back to what what I said uh, a little while ago. In that, why why is this not more widely known? It's just mm -hmm. you know the we're we're past the woo woo stage when it comes to the subconscious it's been mm -hmm. but maybe it's because it's not tangible maybe you That's know right. can't go to you know you go to the doctor you get some pills you leave <laughs> That's like yeah yeah you know, for sure there's, there's something tangible transaction going on there when it comes to the subconscious i can't see it we we can't see it we can't taste it smell it uh, quantify it know how mucked up it is that we don't yeah. know so it's hard to so then people just say well you know we're not gonna teach that in school yeah we'll put that over to the side let you now people yeah. deal with that somewhere else but if, when, when you figure out that it's it's everything in your life it is the the blueprint the gps in your life oh my gosh it's everything it Crazy. Is everything. yeah it is it really is but like we're all given the opportunity to connect at some point to your higher self, you know, to, to, to come to these realizations, you know, and it's all for me, I can speak for me. It's always been through like struggle and heartbreak and all of these things, you know, and like, that is where you, you get to realize like, man, okay, I can, I have the opportunity to change this. I can change myself, but it's, and then, and then it's going through the process of, consistently showing up for yourself and believing in yourself and loving yourself, eating better food, working out, whatever, you know, eating healthy is huge for me. It really is. You know, it's, it's paramount in my life and it's easier for me to connect and get these, you know, messages, if you will, th this from my higher self. And, and it's those tools that I use to help me as well. So, and I'm, I'm greatly, I, I'm so grateful for my life and everything that I've been through, you know, it's, it's just so, it's so perfectly imperfect. I, I'm just, so, you know, it's well, I, you've, you've come to the universe grips with the universe where you needed to do this to get to this. Mm -hmm. I, and I feel this way, same way myself, I'm seeing it in you and I think I'm, I'm, I'm detecting it, but over here. Yeah, there's blank and great things over there. Can't wait. Yeah. You know, all right. I can't yeah. wait. Need to be cut. Need to be. You know, it, it, it's on its way, but we yeah. have to, like you said, be patient and not to get deep into manifesting because that, that would be three podcasts potentially. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But not taking the back to your patience uh, point, not taking the route of, uh, negativity well when is it going to happen when am i going to meet that person when am i going to make more money when is going to no now you're coming from a place of lack and negativity mm -hmm. it's going to happen mm -hmm. 
can't tell you how many times I, I, I went yesterday to see, uh, got tickets to a show, went to see a show. Um, oh my gosh, no, no parking spaces. What am I going to do? Yeah. I do yeah. it every single time and people can laugh at me, you know, try it, do whatever you want. I just manifested it. It's going to be a space. I'm going to find a space, you know, I'm zipping around yeah. here. It's going to, it's coming up. So I'm going to, it was the most unconventional space ever. And I'll be honest with you. It was in a parking garage and it was sort of on yellow lines, but one of the employees of the garage and I'm, I'm backing in. I'm like, I don't want to get towed. I don't want to get a ticket, but whatever I'm going to trust. It's going to be okay because it's, I'm not creating a hazard at all. It wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, getting out of the car with somebody that worked at the hotel and he walks by, he's like, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like yeah. the universe dropped yes. him in there and said, because I had to go. I mean, I'm, you know, paid money for tickets. I got to get going here. Yeah, um, yeah. It was like, he was saying, yeah, you're good. Don't worry about that. And I came back. No problem. Zipped on off. Oh, yeah. But I manifested it. I really, I did. I was like, oh, ah. yeah. And what I said yeah. when I was first getting, pulling into the, you know, looking for spaces, I said, mm, should have manifested before I got there. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to find a space. And I always say, if somebody needs it more than me, let them have the space. That's quite all right. Let's yeah. say if they have a handicap, that, that's fine. Um, but yeah. I need one universe. I'm, I'm running late and uh, yeah, I looked <laughs> yeah. everywhere and bam, there it was. So yeah. I believe if you come from a place of positivity and, mm -hmm. and believe it's, it's going to happen. And why wouldn't you, you know, people mm. say the, you know, oh, it's woo woo. What do you got to lose? <laughs> yeah. What do you have to lose? Nothing. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it's, as you as you do that too you don't even know that's the other thing when you're on the path the the people like you just described the people and the things just show up to help you yes that, i mean it it just happens you don't even have to effort it you actually don't have to effort anything at all you just have to believe that this stuff is going to happen you know like you just said you just did that yeah. in that moment you know that it's you're going to find a spot and you did you know, the, and, and, the, and, and, yeah. and you're right. And for a moment, I question it because there were some, you know, lines drawn, but there was no obvious reason why that was there. It wasn't a fire hazard. It was in a garage that, you know, away from the building, all of that. But my gut was telling me it's fine. You're going to be fine. You know, and then getting towed, yeah. no ticket. And then like exactly to your point to back that up was the gentleman that walked by and just said, you're fine. He knew, oh, yeah. like, he, like he figured it out and and he just happened to be passing by. And then I was like, all right, let's get out of the car. We're good to go. Awesome. Yeah. And, and it was fine. Yeah. yeah. And it all worked out. And it all exactly. worked out because you have faith. And I had a, you know, and go with your gut, but we can do a podcast on gut intuition and all of that. Ooh. My intuition said, the space is all right. Don't worry about it. There was no signs. There was nothing that said, don't park here. You know, anything but tow your vehicle. Nothing. Yeah. There was no, no signs of anything. So yeah, it's, it's, and it, isn't that uh, also a process like just through life where when you are, you know, connected and, and trusting your intuition, isn't that like, can't that be difficult at times? Like, cause you'll, you'll, you know, man, what, even I'll use an example of like something in my refrigerator, you know, like something that a can of soda or whatever that I know that I shouldn't drink and then I'll reach for it. And then my intuition says no. And I'm like, okay, all right, I'm not drinking that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll drink the kombucha instead. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. It's yeah. We're out of time, but I'm right there with you. I have on my phone, and I wrote this down a couple of years ago. All I need is within me now. It is all I need is within me now. Everything to heal, everything to move your life forward. It's all there. Uh, you need to listen to it, just like you said. You know, you you. The voice says to you, don't drink that. That's not supporting you. That's not good. But yeah. it takes time to 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 receive it, to, to hear it the does. messages come through clear. Um, because if you need to make a decision, you already know the answer. You do. You absolutely do. Yeah. 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 But it's it's trusting. It's hearing mm -hmm. the hearing the answer and then trusting it's the right answer. Um, it, how do yeah, we connect? With you, John, I want I, the best way to, you know, go through this, even start the journey. Uh, I'm sure, you know, we brought up a lot of stuff in a short period of time. People yeah. have questions about all of that. How would we do that? All right. Uh, you can reach me at uh, spiritualpathcoaching.com. 
And my email is jfink at spiritualpathcoaching.com. Or uh, my phone number is 309-431-1706. But that's my business line that you can get a hold of me on. Or you can contact me through Instagram. It's Judd underscore Fink. Um, there's many different ways that you can get a hold of me. Okay. Yeah. So. Great talking with you today. And uh, like your your vibe is, uh, I, I know you've gone through a lot, but your vibe is like so po positive and powerful. Um, and you have a great desire. I, it's your purpose to help people. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for a great talk. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, we'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's. It's going to be okay.